Ontario is in the midst of a critical shortage of family doctors and now one more is leaving the profession. It means about a thousand of her patients are now scrambling to find a new one. Now this doctor has a lot to say about why she is shutting her practice down and she wants the Ford government here at Queen's Park to hear her. I'm simply burnt out, all right? That means I'm, I'm physically and mentally exhausted. Dr. Fanwa Mang's clinic is in Mississauga. This sign now greets her patients. She is closing her practice permanently as of May 31st. Dr. Mang has been practicing family medicine for 29 years and had hoped to continue for 10 more, but she just can't do it anymore. It's not the patients that have worn her down, it's the paperwork. It's just unsustainable. Dr. Mang spends up to 25 hours a week doing admin. That's more than half a typical work week. It's a never-ending pile of lab reports, x-ray results, forms, finding specialists. And now she also has to update files when a patient gets a prescription from a pharmacist. I sometimes think my patients have become a sideshow and all I'm doing is processing reports. Last year, she had to reduce seeing patients from four days a week to three to save her sanity, but that cost her money. OHIP pays her up to $40 for each patient visit. She sees roughly 20 a day. After all taxes, rent, insurance, and other necessary costs, she takes home roughly $60,000 a year. There isn't enough to hire an admin assistant, and she just can't do it anymore. If I cut to less than three days a week, I won't meet the overhead. Then my only option is to close. It is the patients she worries about now, ones like Patricia Mackay. This is just put me stressed to the max. Mackay cares for her 108-year-old mother and her husband who has health issues. It was Dr. Mang who discovered he had a silent heart attack. She's a fantastic doctor. If family doctors are not being supported, okay, by our government and taken seriously, okay, then people are going to go to emergency that don't have family doctors. The emergency care is already overload. They're already overloaded. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? It won't be easy for any of Dr. Mang's patients to find a new family doctor. It can take months, even years. We are definitely in a crisis situation right now. According to the Ontario Medical Association, there are currently 2.3 million Ontarians who don't have a family physician. The problem has been growing for over a decade. Adding to it is fewer medical students are choosing to become family doctors. And there are a lot of people that want to do family medicine. They just don't see it as, a, as an attractive option at this point. Because it's not viable, it's not sustainable. Correct. Now, the Ford government acknowledges to me the administrative burnout on family physicians, and they've, lost a, they've launched a burnout task force as well as a program called Patients Before Paperwork, but they're both still in progress. Dr. Mang says it's way too late to help her, but she does hope one day they can help future family physicians.